Good evening, lords and ladies. During this time of celebration and competition, I wasn't planning to do any negative videos. I really, really, really didn't want to do it. It's Koa's birthday, I respect that. I didn't want to go in and, and talk bad about anything. However, there's been some recent events that can't be ignored, and it's just, it's too much to actually... Yeah, hold on, let me go back. Let me start at where this began. And let me tell you about more of what's going on. <clears throat> Okay, let's start here. Resur resurrection bundle issue. I won't go over the details of how they were cheating, but let's just say that there was a bunch of Chinese people who were using the resurrection bundle in order to get a lot of power. Um, yeah, I'll show you exactly who the big one was that caused a big ruckus, and most people probably realize this about now, but if you don't realize it, well, I'll show you in a minute. So there was a glitch, and it allowed you to basically get the bundle quite often and it was using Sanctuary and some other stuff. Again, that's about the, all, all the details I, I'll share. However, the end result, let's go to the end result. The end result was this. Oh. So I don't know if this is a result of um, Hetty boosting up power or him losing power in um, uh, conquest. But the number three power player was this guy. Pretty sure it was this guy. It was either him or this guy. I, I'll be honest, I can't remember if it was, I think it was 483, I'm pretty sure. And I think it was a day or two days ago, and the individual power showed him at 3 million. And then mysteriously that system message showed up, and it just confirmed that he was the one of the main abusers of it. And, um, and then his power dropped down to like 2.3, 2.5, something like this. I don't know exactly where it was. But it had bumped Hetty down to rank 4 in terms of individual power. And um, no, we can't have that. But um, he wasn't the only one. There was other people abusing this, this trick and this glitch in order to, to get the resurrection bundle more often and, and sanctuary stuff. So, yeah, we have that. He wasn't the only one. I, I don't know who they exactly, you know, punished. They wouldn't say. And of course, they didn't take all of his troops. They just took some of them, you know. So the guy gets away with basically cheating or getting a glitch or whatever it is. It's just a partial punishment. It's not a full punishment. We know how Koa operates. So he got a slap on the wrist and then, you know, pow. Now we move on to something that I think, boy, is really, really just despicable. I can't believe Koa is actually allowing this. So Kingdom 88 and a few other kingdoms have um, had their buildings demolished. And, um, you know, these are people that are strong contenders for actually, you know, going another round. But due to cheaters and things like this, um, they, they're out of it. They're still out of it. The competition didn't start, they didn't restart round two. Which, which probably would have been the fair thing to do when they realized that, hey, people's buildings got demolished. Let's, let's pause this round. Let's restart it tomorrow at 8 a.m. Instead of doing the right thing, they're going to severe punishment on those players. I know who they are, and they're not going to get punished. And if they don't ban them, perma-ban them, I'm going to start calling out names, and I'm going to start putting evidence all over YouTube because in my Discord I've been seeing it. And furthermore, there's two other different, let's call them problems or bugs, with Alliance Conquest. People are sending two and three marches at a time. I know how you're doing it. And Koa, can you please, you know, add a little bit more server-side validation so that when two marches are on a building, one arrives, the other, you know, think something like this, so that the second one arrives, it auto-returns or something? I don't know. Can you guys actually fix the bugs in your game so that it's more fair and cheaters aren't able to keep cheating? So there's the two or three March bug, there's a demolishing forts bug, and then there's that glitch where you can't actually click on things in the top left-hand corner of the map. And it's just, it's just one of those things. Like if you click up here, let's see if there's anybody in the top corner so I can demonstrate it. Let's see if I, maybe, maybe this might be fixed, I'm not sure. 
But people are putting towers in the top right hand corner and because of the way the game is, anytime you click in that top top right hand corner, if there's anything too too close up there, it starts giving you that stupid dialogue about, you know, like, hey, do you want to go to Kingdom Whatever? So it appears that that may be fixed. I don't know. But people are using it as a strategy because they know that if you click up there, it's going to be difficult to actually, you know, it's going to kick you over to the next kingdom. I'll, I'll have to test this and get feedback and see if people, people have actually fixed it. But you can see, you know, that some people, you know, use this trick pretty consistently. Um, so those three things. And it's basically just ruining Conquest for some people. I didn't play Conquest. I think it's just, just such a terrible, stupid event. I mean, like, really, who wants to sit there and farm and deal with trolls for a day? Yeah, I got better things to do in life. So that's my personal view on it. But again, you know, we're facing cheaters. They won't call them out. They won't say who it is. They just say, those people, severe punishment. You know, come on, let's make a list of these people. Let's call them out. If you're not going to ban them, put them in a special kingdom. Make a kingdom zero and put all the cheaters in there. All the bot farmers, all the people buying illegal resources, all the people doing glitches and all this stuff. Dump them all in K0 and let them all have fun. And let the rest of us actually enjoy the game as much as we possibly can. But that'll never happen. You know, Square Enix, man, I tip my hat to you guys. The people who were doing the real money trading in Square Enix, they were actually banning them. So if you play Final Fantasy XIV, which I did or do kind of, sort of, not very often, um, the people who were, were buying and selling stuff, they got banned. And that's how they should do it. And Fortnite is probably going to be another game where people who are doing real money trading and account selling are probably going to get banned. But for some reason, Fun Plus doesn't feel that that's the appropriate action. I don't know. So again, we're back to the, hey, you know, we need to really one-star vote these guys to, you know, hit, hit their rating. Because if people see that the game is rated like a three-point something, you know, right now it was like 4.1 in Singapore, if we could drop it down to like 3.5, 3.2... 3-0, if we could get enough one-star reviews to really, really hit their hit their rating, I think it's going to be harder for them to get more players for the game. We need to do it for GOG, we need to do it for, for King of Avalon and their Dino Wars. Any title that these guys do, we need to do it because it's going to be the same stink over and over and over again. So, you know, I'm really sorry to you guys that um, you got cheated, you know, for Conquest. You know, I know that there was a lot of really passionate people who really wanted to, you know, put their heart into it, especially some of my friends in Kingdom 88, you know, and they were actually in the lead, and there's some other kingdoms too. I don't remember which ones they are, which is really disappointing, guys. So from my heart, happy birthday, Koa. Fix your stuff. This is inappropriate. You know, it's two years. Last year, it was a Samsung packages, 70% discounts, the refund scams. That's why my kingdom went to hell because people were doing refund scams in Kingdom 134, and they were taking advantage of the Samsung local, local, promo, um, local promotions in China. It was a Chinese-only thing, and some cities were getting 70% discounts. I've got a list of the people. They were temporary banned last year for like a couple days until they pay the fine. You know, and it's like, if it doesn't hit their wallet, they just don't care. All right, guys, peace out. Love you. Bye-bye for now.